Hello, my name is Ross Rogers. Your extended reading for November, right? How are you doing? We're going cross watchers. This is for the sign and sun, moon, rising, moon, and Venus as usual, but also Jupiter, Saturn, and Mars. So please check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, as you know, you just book your nose where you go. No point about that. That shit ain't got nothing to do with you and ain't none of your damn business, right? Right. All right. So this is a continuation from the last reading, y'all. So far, we have the Ten of Bows with the whip. <laughs> Feels like letting go of a burden or what is it? responsibility could be a set of punishment right here or it feels like a punishment anyway um that's a queer or situation right now what needs to be known though is that some injustice um two of arrows is happening to some lady right here could be an empress right or a uh, feminine energy if you will the energy and desire of the queer in the situation um Someone isn't looking for any protection because something isn't as hard as it seems. Someone isn't looking to be protected. Or there is no protection from this shit because it's not really an obstacle or a challenge. Or isn't even as big as a mountain as it is just a hill where ants come out of. And, you know, what is it? Their desire or whatever. Someone desires for possibly a Capricorn or just a guardian in general of the underworld to be the bad guy. Or just a dick. Um, or at least someone wants to see it that way, but I don't think they can. Could be dealing with another Earth sign, Capricorn for sure. Mm. I also want to say Libra, possibly too, Virgo, but that's just me. But that's what we got going on in this extended, right? These are the energies, the influences around all of this, right? So... What's the queer in our situation? What's the next move? There's no fulfillment here. Three of bows. Someone's sick of the shit, right? What blocks this person in the situation right here? Lack of abundance with the six of bows reversed. What's to be wary of? Force lovers don't work out as well as you think. Possibly with a Gemini right here, Virgo. Losing a connection right here. That's what you were worried about before any other readings I did for you for um, October, I think. On to November. Like, you guys have been worried about a connection with somebody. How? What's the result of all this happening? Six of Eras transition. You might be moving on. From the situation, Virgo and Cross Watchers. Probably for the better, honestly, because you've kind of been done with the situation anyway. You just haven't really taken the movement and you haven't verbalized it or even had that thought consciously enough for it to even be a possibility for you. Perhaps. Or maybe I'm just pulling it all out of my ass. Also, um, these three cards popped up when I started. Um, someone isn't really a wanderer, so there's no real reason to go out on an adventure, right? Um, they're already developing their own skills and whatnot, but I feel like there is some sort of missing feeling inside of them. Like the sun of life is not in their body or some shit, right? All right. So what's this situation and queerance next move going on? They're in cross watchers. There's no need for fulfillment here because somebody's already an empress. Could be you. Also, Taurus. Or Libra. Or Aries. Feminine energy. It might have been that who got the injustice here because the lady's already here. She might have dealt with the injustice herself. Uh, also, might have thought the movie was just like the book. King of Swords, right? Definitely could be Libra involved. There is abundance potential with this person. They could birth things, but I feel like they think they know more than everyone else. They think that it's like J.K. Rowling going back and like adding shit to the books after they've already been published decades later. Or becoming a turf, one of the two, you know. 
yeah, this person thinks they know better and they're going to plant seeds based on that. Whoever this is. This person has a great potential. Um, but Virgo, I feel like you don't, you, you know that they're kind of, there might be a chance you think they're dumb. You might be a chance to be like, you're going to miss my ass, you stupid motherfucker. You know, you might say that on occasion every time you see them 100% of the time. Yeah, that, that, that might happen. I don't know. I don't know, it's weird having a mother who's crazy and a Virgo, because it's like, oh, the shadow. <laughs> my mother is my shadow. <laughs> uh, I love her still, so though. Why are you climbing on the window? You're not going to get up there. Hello, Sarah. Hello. How is school? I'm oh, good. Good. Alright, so let's see. What blocks this person, y'all? They, they don't feel like they have any abundance? Even though they are abundant, so I don't think they see their own potential. Hmm. I think they just go where the wind blows. <laughs> like, if they see a kitty, they're going down that hole. They got very pagey energy. Very impulsive, I feel like. That's what blocks this person. They're very impulsive. Anything that's shiny, it gets their attention. Or if it's a kitty that is doing random stuff, you know. Kind of bitter. Pretty spiteful, too. It's like they get bored or sour with shit. And then they decide, yeah, you know what, this isn't for me. This person just isn't very, um, they waste their abundance by not trying to be committed to whatever they choose to run to. Like, if they find a kitty, eventually they get tired of feeding it and shit, and then they just let shit go. Which, I don't know how they would deal with stuff, honestly. So that's what's blocking this person. They have a, they have, they have impulse controls. It's like wherever they go to with a kitty, like, after a while they just get sick of it and shit. What? Be wary of it. What's to be aware of with the separation? This lover's reverse. Could be Gemini you're dealing with as well. Oh, the heirs. Um... Yeah, there's no victory resulting in this situation with this person, honestly. Like, I think they want to be a victor. I just think that they fuck things up a lot. I think they fuck things up, and that's a problem. But they always end up getting opportunities, new opportunities. Like, this person will develop an opportunity somewhere. Um, who knows how that's going to go with their um, blocks. They get an opportunity that nobody sees coming. Yeah. This is divination right here. Someone isn't seeing something like this is actually um What strange person? Um we're going cross watchers. Is this a child that you're having a problem with? Cause I, cause I can't, I, I can't help feeling like this isn't as romantic as it should feel. As much as it is, um, disappointment, shame, and wanting to lecture somebody because you know they didn't listen to you when you were right, and I can't help but feel like I'm feeling my mother. <clears throat> you know, the result of all this, someone taking off. Transitions. Six of arrows. Could also be moving to calmer waters, too. Yeah, I got a book. I thought it was just one. It's not. Um, Eight of Pentacles. There's a formula being worked out here. Right? So, someone might be so busy with the formula, they're not paying attention to the emotional shit they need to pay attention to. Um... To the point where there might be like um, a breakdown of the system. 
power bath system works. Not everyone's going, um, in the room, you know. Um, but there is some wish fulfillment here that might be granted in regard, what the fuck? In regard to do <laughs> some mind fuckery. What is that, Virgo? Is this person playing games with the whole, I'll leave and you'll never see me again? Is that what's, is this someone's kid? Is this someone's adult kid? Who's just, oh, they get on your last nerves, but at the same time, they're my fucking kid. What do I do in this situation? Most people I just wouldn't fuck with. I can't not fuck with this one because I literally brought it into the world and this is my monster. You know? Ah, uh, someone is a volume for the temptation. Definitely could be with a Capricorn. Fish. Did he get up on that? No, he keeps on looking through the glass and pulling at it. See, that was your mom because she <laughs> held him over that. <laughs> and just let him strike at the fish. Two seconds, y'all. Alright, so someone isn't tempting with the leaving. Katoosh. Because it's not going to come back in from the cold. That's for sure. Mm. Oh, there's a book. No. Someone's being really immature with their feelings, just running away like, wang, and all that shit, right? Um, I feel like they're patient, but they're really keeping one eye open to see if something new starts up, right? That way they don't have to, like... Feel like they're stuck in the head about a choice they really don't want to make but at the same time they are moving to something different than what they've had in the past they're just being hush hush about it right now this person has opportunities for going cross watcher i don't think you know about them hmm And they're on some bullshit. I'm never talking to you again, Mom. Is this someone's kid? <laughs> Is this someone's child? It really feels like someone's kid's just acting like a spoiled brat here. That's the energy I'm getting. It's like, uh, it's, it's like a, you have an adult child who is just like, mm, I didn't give birth to you. You know, Virgo and Cross Watchers. That's, like, are you dealing with your kid and you don't know what to do with them? I'm glad I'm not that kid. Cause like, uh, my mom would not put up with that shit. Not for me. Maybe the other kids, but definitely not me. She would not. No. <laughs> All right, so what's the next move? What happens after this next move, right? With this individual Virgo and Cross Watchers, or whatever the fuck's going on. This could be you also with these opportunities as well, but I'm not really sure. Mm. Someone might come back for hugs and kisses to make someone feel better. You know, being like, mom, I'm sick. You know? You come in hoping they'll help let their guard down with you. You want to talk to them. It is on the side of the lady with the flower. You know, trying to get you get them to let your, their guard down with you. You might even be trying to talk to them. I almost feel like there's addiction involved here, too. Like, you might be visiting your kid while they're in rehab and they're bed sick or dope sick. Ugh. You're hoping the little birdie will, will tell you some secrets. You're listening. You're not speaking with the King of Swords, you're listening, so you maybe possibly can give them some decent advice. They're blockages or whatnot, right? Because it seems like they are pretty bitter about how things have gone down. Like, they follow the kitty, I feel like, too. They follow the shiny thing and they don't know, like, where it's taking it. They won't bury this shit, though. They won't let it fuck, they won't let it die, they won't get over it, it's blah blah blah, they're a victim, all that shit, right? 
They got that going on right now. They might even be committed to it. They could definitely be a Taurus, but they definitely follow something by the book. Virgo and Crosswatcher, they might walk away from you impulsively once again. Despite the fact. Like, it's something that they can't let go of and they're dedicated to. Um, I feel like they're definitely, they're like, I'm not sure. This definitely feels like someone's kid who's just like, you know, I'm, I'm set in my ways. Even though they're like 20 or some shit, right? And it's like a continuous breaking of hearts every time because it's like you have to come in and fix the shit every time, you know? It's like, mm. you're, And then you're just standing there like, what the literal fuck? <laughs> and I gotta be here for your ass. I feel like there's resentment here on your side. But almost not as much as their side. I feel like they're pretty disappointed that you don't understand where they're coming from. It's like they're dedicated to this because, like, they can't let it go. Not because, like, it actually means something to them, right? It's like someone being confused about love and being in love. Mm. They're definitely not tempted to go home anytime soon, either. Hello. Hi. Guess what? Hold on. Oh, I'm so proud of that kid right now. I'm so excited. I ain't even a really surprise. I'm... It's good enough. Anyway, um, what to be aware of for our cross watchers with this particular individual? You know, um, it seems like the separation here, there was no victory for them, but there is an opportunity coming that, like, no one really sees coming. Like, no one sees it coming. You know, some heartbreaking shit, right? Okay, you can sit in here with me. That's cool. Um, seems like... Hmm. Probably... Like, okay, so this dude down here ain't be masculine, too. Someone feels like they're heartbroken by a masculine sign. That seems to be the case. But there's some shit that people did not see coming. Or aren't seen coming. It's not being divinated. It's not being picked up. It's just lingering in the background. You know. It's definitely a pair here. For sure coming up. And with that also comes a bunch of options. A bunch of different things. Right? This guy. But he's upright. This is the second time you've shown up upright, actually. I'll drop one more. Um, what the fuck? Who are they walking away from? Are they walking away from you? Or are you walking away from them? Whoever this more masculine person is because there's an injustice to this lady right right but then dude down here definitely could be capricorn or whatever acting like a guardian is in some terrible energy but he's upright leaving Like he decided to give up with this parry, even though they were perfect for each other. Even though they had fun together, it's like he just decided with his options to be more present on his throne than he did stick around for this chick. <clears throat> I don't know, or you're walking away from them, or they're walking away from you, Virgin Cross Watchers. It's up for you to decide. That's what I'm picking up anyway. Anyway, the result of all of this. Reverse, Five of Pentacles reverse, Ace of Swords reverse. Mmm. Bad book. Maybe. Uh, doors are wide open for some celebrations and shit, right? But someone gets really, really their heart torn over again because somebody else didn't fall for temptation. What the 
Capricorn's card once again. And the third party situation ends. Or some indulgences ends. Whatever I like, tempt the person. Really. two came together so I'll draw one more someone put some bad investments into this new start right here it's going to be very noticeable in what's coming up next you know someone might not even know that this shit was going on either when it came to the choices that are being made that was probably the injustice on the lady you know so Someone will look at their phone for a way to move forward in a new love situation, new potentials, or whatever. However, somebody was sabotaging that shit before they fucking got it delivered. One more. Watch where you invest your shit. Or watch who's investing your shit. Queen of Pentacles definitely could be Capricorn. Also, Taurus, or even yourself, or another Virgo, y'all. Um, watch where you invest your shit. Someone might take pride in your stuff without you really um, being involved in it, right? Right. I'm telling you, is this somebody's fucking child? Because it feels like someone's kid doing fuck shit. The time you're supposed to head back to class today. No, it's it's over. Oh, is it over? Yeah. Oh shit. Sure. Never mine mind. Mine looked just like this. Like it was just like it. Yeah, I think that one's my key. So. Because mm. last time I left mine in here. Mhm. Mm okay. Mm, I don't know because I know I got one. no. Mine's on the key ring, so that might be yours. But I'm not sure. I have to check with your mom. All right, so. Last row, guys. Let's see. Well, there's going to be a lot of um, petty shit. Just letting you know, there's going to be some pettiness and everything. Um, because people just are hanging on to whatever makes them feel secure, right? Um, not really communicating and kind of being arrogant in the entire situation, too. Not really listening to each other. Not thinking they don't have the heal situation between whatever's going on with y'all. And not really finding a way forward with that because someone needs to speak some truth on the matter. Hold up their sword and be like, you know, I got something to say. When it came to whatever it was I was investing. Someone actually needs to be honest about what the fuck they were doing, basically. For Grown Cross Watchers, that's the main crux of it. And I think this person's just acting out in order to avoid doing that. So please be wary, right? Alright, so that was your extended reading. Thank you very much for watching this. Um, I love y'all's faces. Please take care of yourselves. If you want a personal down in the description below. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.